for Florida, I think it's amazing. Every single thing, like I'm researching Florida, I'm studying Florida, I'm watching tape from Florida last year. And while there were a lot of disappointing aspects of the 23 tape, it's tough. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a tough watch. But every single thing you read about the Florida Gators is about one of two things. One, how hot is the seat for Billy Napier? And two, how impossible their schedule is this year. If you want to dive into where they're at offensively, hey, here's some key position battles. Here's what I'm paying close attention to. Here we are defensively. Here are the guys that I think are going to need to step up. Like, it's almost hard to read those things. Everyone's basically putting Florida in the ground. They're burying them, and they're saying they have no chance here in 24. Guys, it is still the Florida Gators. <laughs> like, I'm, look, I'm not picking them to go to the playoff, okay? I'm not picking them to go to the playoff. I'm not sitting here and saying, yep, hey, keep an eye on Florida. Now, this is a team that's going to be sneaky. Watch when they win nine games. You're going to tell you, I'm going to say, I told you so. No, I'm not saying any of those things. What I think Florida is doing right now, they feel an awful lot like West Virginia last year. And you're going to say, well, that's not a good comparison. Well, everyone said West Virginia was done. They're going to finish last in the Big 12. They're going to have their coach. He's going to be out. It's done. Why are we even wasting time talking about Neil Brown in 24? Like, West Virginia is dead. Florida feels very similar. And then guess what? Florida gets going a little bit. Maybe they pull off an upset. They're in the early part of the season against Miami. Maybe they beat UCF. Maybe they beat some teams in the SEC. Because I look at their schedule and there are some winnable games. I also look too, they have Graham Mertz. And Graham Mertz had a rock solid season last year. I also look at some of the pieces they brought in. Now they might be young on defense in a few spots. But they have some possible difference makers. So, I'm just saying. I'm not picking Florida to go to the SEC title game. I'm not picking Florida to go to the S to, to the college football playoff. I'm not even picking Florida to be in the top 25. All I'm saying, though, is that the roster is in much better shape when you dive into it than you might expect based on some of the outside noise. Just saying, don't sleep on the Gators. Don't sleep on the Gators. They still have talent.